Hello everyone, I am Kamal Mahako. Welcome to the Bujibantan Foundation's motivational series, Defying the Odds Despite Your Circumstances. I have a wonderful story to share with you and I'm happy that you are able to join me. I think you can learn a lot from my experiences and also I want to share with you the things that I have achieved. I want to share with you the things that my children have achieved and we're going to be talking about all the odds that I had to defy in order to achieve. So welcome and stay tuned. I hope you will benefit from this talk. Hello everyone, I am Kamal Mahako. I am the principal of the Kemet Maasai Academy, which is located in Greater Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica. So today I want to share with you my story and this is a story that I have shared with many persons throughout the years. Uh, my children and I have been featured on television, in the newspapers and I am an author so I have documented my story in books. Uh, the reason that I want to share my story with you is because I feel that through this you can become motivated, you can become inspired to achieve in spite of your circumstances. Um, one of my favorite historians, speakers, the late Dr. Ben Buchanan, um, he said the odds don't mean a thing when you desire to do. And I am absolutely wholeheartedly in agreement with Dr. Ben. The odds don't mean a thing when you desire to do. So let me tell you a bit about myself. So I'm Kamal Mahako, the principal of Kemet Maasai Academy. And I started out homeschooling my four biological children who have all gone on to achieve great things. Three of them received the Mayor's Award from the Mayor of Portmore and they have also gone on to achieve academic scholarships locally and internationally. They have achieved national and regional awards. So we started with homeschooling my four biological students and then we extended that to the Kemet Maasai Academy which is a school which um, we take students from the primary level and also a few students at the secondary level. Now I am also an author. So far I have authored 28 books and I will be sharing a few of those books with you today. I am also a YouTuber and I will be telling you about some of my YouTube channels and hopefully you can get on, you can subscribe and benefit from the wealth of knowledge that I have gathered and that I you know just enjoy sharing with you. Now in terms of the odds, in terms of the circumstances that I have had to overcome, I should tell you, you know, growing up in rural St. Andrew, you know, we were poor, but let me tell you, we did not even realize that we were poor because we had so much fun. My childhood was great in terms of, you know, living in the country. I'm a naturalist, so I love being exposed to nature and fruits and so on. However, there are some challenges that I faced as a young girl growing up, and especially as I did not completely understand what was going on. For one, um, I had a terrible allergy to mosquito bites, and so my skin was you know, broke out in all kinds of sores and I was laughed at for much of my childhood. I had, I, I was, you know, pretty much, you could say an outcast in that sense. The other children wouldn't want to play with me because, you know, my sores were, would stick to my uniform. And as a matter of fact, I had to have a special uniform made um, where every, every other girl was in their 
skirts, you know, their tunic, I had to wear pants because they didn't want my sores exposed and they would, you know, say that I have leprosy and nobody wanted to talk. Well, that's not true. They, they did um, play with me at times, but for the most part, I was teased a lot about my skin. As you can see now, I have beautiful glowing skin because of, mainly because of my diet. Um, I eat mostly fruits. Um, vegan diet for the most part and mostly fruits and herbs and so on. So I got over that hurdle. Um, another hurdle I had to overcome was I was born with a condition called, listen for this big word now, trimethylaminuria. Very big word, trimethylaminuria. Um, for short it's called TMAU. And it's a terrible condition if you don't understand it, if you don't know how to. And at the time, nobody understood this condition. We would go from doctor to doctor and nobody could explain. Now what happens in this condition, your body cannot fully process foods containing choline and particularly heavy protein foods. And what happens is because your body doesn't process it, it accumulates and it, it after a while it releases a terrible smell through the skin, through the mouth, through all orifices of the body. Now, as a child growing up, you can just imagine as a young girl, this was a very embarrassing and difficult situation. I would be in the classroom and this happened every day. I would be in the classroom and it just, the, the, the smell would just engulf the entire room and the students would run out of the classroom and not understanding what this condition was or having anyone to explain to you, you know, it was very depressing and it was very frustrating because not even the doctors knew. And this is a condition that a lot of people still don't know about. And I wrote a book, I wrote a novel called Ashley Smells Like Garbage. And this book talks about the condition, it talks about how to um, treat the condition. Because if you, I later realized that if you eliminate foods rich in choline and cut back on, you know, foods high in protein, then the condition can be eliminated. So this is something I had to overcome, but as a child, not knowing what to do, and not, I mean, it has nothing to do with hygiene. And that was the frustrating part because you would do everything that everybody else did in terms of hygiene and it would still occur. So that's something I had to overcome. And you know, going into a profession like teaching, you can just imagine how difficult that was. But now I understand the condition and I documented it in my novel, Ashley Smells Like Garbage and so Persons who have this condition can find out about it and know how to deal with it and live a normal, healthy life. So, I want to share with you, as I said, I wrote 28 books. I want to share some of them with you. I'm a math specialist. So, here are three of my math textbooks. Caribbean Mathematics for Secondary Schools Graph. Um, I have from grade 7, grade 8 and 9, and grade 10 and 11, and these are comprehensive graph textbooks that you can use from you touch high school, and you know, all the years in high school, you can get help with your graph. Now, I also have a series called the Marcus the Garveyite Workbooks. Now, these books um, feature Marcus Garvey. It's three books in the series. We have volume one, volume two, and volume three. It's a comprehensive study of the life and work of Marcus Garvey. These are workbooks for students as young as six, all the way up even for the, the um, book three, even college students can use these books. Here's another book, The Student's Master Plan. Hardcore Rules for a Lifetime of Success. And this is a collection of motivational passages for students. Now all these books 
in addition with the, the other books, 28 in all, they are available on Amazon.com. Just go, type in Kamal Mahako and you will have access to all of these books. Now, let me tell you now about my YouTube channels. I have several YouTube channels and let me tell you, I did not allow anything, any obstacle in my life to stop me from what from exploring my passions and reaching people and motivating them. So I have several YouTube channels. I'm going to tell you about four of them. The first one is the name of our school, Kemet Masai Academy, and I feature mathematics videos from grade four, grade five, grade six, all the way up to C6 to grade 11. So if you need help with your maths, go on Kemet Masai Academy and you, you can camp out. We have hundreds of mathematics videos. Another of my channel is Vibrant Authentic Living where I feature healthy living, healthy lifestyle, juicing, fasting, meditation. You can check that out. Another of my channels is Authentic Jamaican Memory Lane. Now on that channel, you know, I'm a Jamaican, I love my country, I love my culture, and I feature things about Jamaica, life in Jamaica, proverbs, um, sightseeing, everything like that. And the last channel I want to tell you about is my personal channel where I talk about life, my experiences, and this channel is Kamaudacity. So that's K-A-M-A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, Commodacity, everything about Kama. Go on these channels, subscribe, and hopefully you can benefit from the wealth, the wealth of information, the challenges, the despair, and how we can overcome. Hopefully you can be motivated. Now, I received the Marcus Garvey Award in 2014 for contribution to education. I also received the Outstanding Educator Award from the University of Chicago in that same year, 2014. Right, so when I just started out as a homeschooler, I was, my, my spouse and I, we were laughed at. You know, we were, people would, would just look at us and say, oh, you'll never, what, what are they doing? They don't know what they're doing. Why don't they put the children in regular school, you know, they are so weird. But we did not allow that to deter us at all. We persevered, we believed in ourselves, we believed in what we were doing. And as I said, our children have come on now to get recognition locally and regionally and internationally. They have received scholarships to some of the most prestigious universities in the United States and you know charting their own course so I want you to benefit from this wealth of knowledge I want you to access these books go on the, the um, YouTube channels camp out watch the videos and be inspired and be motivated and understand that it does not matter where you're coming from what matters is where you are going and are you willing to put in the work are you willing to do what it takes because it's not enough to just sit and say oh I want to do this I want to be that you have to be willing to put in the work you have to be willing to ignore the naysayers and those who are going to tell you that it is not possible you have to have that strength and you have to have that determination to ignore those voices and to listen to the voice that's coming from right here. Your voice, it's your life, your plans, your dreams, your goals, and you owe it to yourself to achieve them. It doesn't matter what, right? Remember, I'm telling you, I'm coming from a place where people used to be running away from me. They don't want to be around me because of how repulsive that condition was. And I did not allow that to stop me. I did not allow the, the fact that they were saying, oh, your skin is so terrible, look at my skin. No, 
look at my skin it's wonderful so you can defy all odds believe in yourself believe that it is possible so i will see you on the channels you can leave your comments i will certainly respond and thank you for listening to my presentation